everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you can be here and I'm very very excited today because I'm doing something oh so cool. So as you all know I am a very very anime nerd if you couldn't tell you know yeah but I also love books. Sometimes I wonder though how I can bring my book loving people and my anime loving people on this channel and have them be an awesome force of coolness or something like that of nerdiness on the internet and I think I found out a little bit of what I could do right right so if you haven't heard this awesome author Kim Chance just published her debut novel Keeper and I'm so excited I cannot wait to read it and because she is so excited about it, she started doing a book tag for Keeper. And of course, I got wind of it. I so love her videos. I so love other author tube videos. And I just, ah, uh, yes. So I was all excited to do this book tag today. And I started reading the questions. And I'm like, you know what? I could probably fit a lot of anime and manga titles to this. And, you know, instead of books and all that. So I'm going to bend the rules just a little bit on this book tag. And... Instead of it being a book tag, I'm gonna have it be an anime and manga tag. Cause you know, technically, manga are books of some sort. So it kinda counts. And one of the characters in her novel Keeper loves comic books. So hey, you know, why not? Why not go with slightly with the theme? I you know, I think I think Kim Chance would, would wouldn't mind, so I'm not gonna mind. So yes. Anyways, here we go, and with my Handy dandy note card, let's get to it. Question one, Keeper, a book you'll keep reading over and over. I already broke my bent rule that I made. I have <sighs> How's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. Look at this beauty. And if that title seems very familiar to you, well, it should because Hayao Miyazaki made a film about it as well. Now, I don't know how Hayao Miyazaki got a hand on Howl's Moving Castle, but when he read it, he fell in love with it. And then he called Jones and he was like, girl, I need to make a movie. Please let me make a movie. You know what she said? Yes, I love your work. So that's how we get two beautiful things. Now, if you're like me and you've seen the movie about a billion times and you want some more Howl's Moving Castle, totally go and get the book either just just go out to the bookstore or go out to the library or, and however you need to get your hands on this book oh yes it's it's beautiful it's awesome you have these characters right Hal and Sophie and oh they're so lovey-dovey and all oh, and you're like man how why do you have to be so rotten sometimes and then you read the book and you're like oh my god Sophie is snarkier, Hal is meaner, but in a slightly okay way. You know, he's not like cruel evilness, but he's also like, wow, I can't believe you just did that, Hal. Are you serious? It's just awesome, and it, it just brought even more to Hal's Moving Castle, and I'm so glad I have both of these babies in my life. Oh, yes. Question two. Lainey and Maggie favorite bookish friendship. So I looked everywhere on my shelves for the perfect friendship and I couldn't find it because anime is not filled with perfect friendships. Okay, yes it is, it is. But one of my favorite friendships that starts out as not friends was Kotetsu and Barnaby from Tiger and Bunny by Mizuki Sakakibara. Oh yes. And like a lot of the series that come by, I watch the anime first and then I get my hand on some of the manga and I just love them both, of course. Kotetsu is, you know, outgoing and fun. You know, he's 35, but he still has some youth in him. Yeah, 35's not that old. I don't think. I don't know yet. I hope not. I'm only 10 years away from that, so I hope it's not old. And then you have Barnaby, who's young and he knows everything, blah, 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 blah. And of course... You know, he's from super rich family and he's not. So, you know, it has all these little clashes between them. So it, it's really cool. I like it. And they're both superheroes, which is awesome. Number three, which witch? Favorite bookish witch or warlock? Okay, so I kind of cheated on this one. I know there's a lot of witches and warlocks out there, but I couldn't find any that I really, really liked. Like, I like them, but they're not my favorites. So I cheated and I picked a human goddess. So this lovely woman is Nanami Momozono, and she is from Kamisami Kiss by 
Julieta Suzuki. Ooh, that's a beautiful name. And I love it. It's it's awesome. She's human, right? Plain human. Nothing special about her. And she just, you know, she basically gets invited to this temple to live at. And she's kind of tricked by the god that's supposed to be at that temple. And he's like, no, no, I don't, just go here. You'll find a good family. You'll find a good home. It's fun. You know, you're, you're a really good person. You, you can do it. And she goes there. And then she meets this freaking Bucks demon. Well, now he's not a demon. He's just a deity of the temple. But, you know, she has to deal, deal with him. And he's just so mean. He's like, you're not the earth god. And she's like, well, apparently I am. Because I have insignia right here. What? And just all, all hell ensues. It's, it's pretty sad. But I love it because even though she's not used to magical powers and she's not used to just all the spirits and everything like that, she tries her best. And on top of all of that, on top of all of her godly duties that she has to do, like answering prayers and just going with the other gods, and, you know, for a couple of weeks and doing all the gut stuff they do in Japan. I know, I'm a very terrible explainer. But with all of that, she still has high school that she attends. And you're like, what? <laughs> so you're a high school student, have all of that to deal with, and then you have to deal with, like, godly duties, and this dude? Him? <sighs> oh, you poor child. But she does it really well. She She's really awesome, and she's very memorable, and I love it. She's just, you know, she's like, you know what? No one else is gonna do this, so I'm just, I'm just gonna have to roll up my sleeves and do it. Oh yeah. Number four, the master, a book villain you love to hate. So if you know Dorobara by Ryogo Narita, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Freaking Izaya. This guy, oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the problem with him. He loves messing with people and he's so mean and cruel and you just wanna slap him, but when he's on his deathbed and he's about to die and just, just, just get out of everyone's way, I, I just find myself going, no, don't do it, don't die, it's a no, I don't know why. <laughs> you think, you think with a character like this, I'd be just like, you know, just, just, just die, just die. And I love to hate him, just, mm. and then it gets you with his pretty face. Why? Why, Isaiah? Why can't you just not exist? But he does, so we're just going to have to deal with him. Yeah. Number five. Kim Chance, a book you're glad you took a chance on. Oh, I see what you did there, girl. I see what you did there, yeah. I'm glad I took a chance on Skip Beat by Yoshihiki Nakamura. It's all about this girl, Kyoko. You know, she goes from Kyoto all the way to Tokyo with her, you know, just childhood best friend. They're not dating, they're not dating. But she wants to support him in his dream to become an actor. And she's there for him. And then she realizes he doesn't give a crap about her. He doesn't care. She's just his live and maid. Ooh, and she overhears this. Ooh, it gets bad. And that's only in the first like few chapters or first episode or two. So it's it's kinda it's kinda terrible. It really is. And you're like, whoa, dude, I can't believe you just did that. So to get her revenge, you know what she does? She's like, fine, you know what? I'm gonna blow you out of your seat. I'm gonna become a world famous actress and kick your butt. And you're like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> please, you haven't even done anything. <laughs> you don't have any talent. Well, it turns out that she does have some talent in being very, very persistent on everything. And, you know, and then she starts figuring out that she really does love acting and all of that. And, you know, it's, it's, it turns from revenge to actually making a career out of it and it's kind of cool because you know a lot of people just hold on to grudges and ev even though she's like that still <laughs> poor Kyoko even though she's like that she she's starting to let go and she's starting to realize that she doesn't need a grudge and she thanks the dude for being such a jerk to her and all that and no it's not this dude this this Ren is something else. He does not hurt her heart, so it's not him. No, don't worry about that. But I do love it, and, you know, taking a chance on it, I saw the first volume, and I was like, man, it just looks way too girly for me. So for a couple of years, I didn't even pick it up, which was probably a good thing, because when it first came out, you know, one or two volumes, like, cool. Now, like, I think I binge read this all the way up until the 30th volume, and then I had to wait for the other ones to come out. So, 
yeah, it's it's been a real struggle, <laughs> but it's great. Number six, Gareth and Serena, favorite non-blood, non-related family. Hands down, it's the Straw Hat Pirate Crew from One Piece by Eiichiro Oda. You think Lilo and Stitch is Ohana? You have not seen One Piece yet. Luffy is just, he's the forefront. He's like, you're gonna be a part of my pirate crew. And they're like, what? What? <laughs> you know, even especially when Robin, this lovely, beautiful lady right here, especially when he says, you're gonna be a part of my pirate crew. Because she, like, she's an evil villain. And they're like, are, she, you, you do know she tried to kill you, right? Just like two episodes ago, she tried to murder you. And but of course, Luffy saves her and she she ends up a good guy and I like her, I really do. I hope Zoro does too. No, sorry, sorry, sorry to get my ship in this. But I, I love it and even though One Piece is so long, like the, both the manga and the anime are just such a long ordeal to get through if you are starting now, do it. It's worth it. <laughs> you might lose some years of your life, but hey, it's worth it. Number seven, Ty. Favorite mysterious male character, Kiyoya, from Oran High School Host Club by Bisco Hattori. He is so cool. He's my favorite host from the host club. I like it. <laughs> I know, right? Right? I, I used to love the twins, but I, I love him. And like I said, you do learn about him, you learn about his past. It's actually also in the anime. All you know when you first meet Kyoya is that he manages the money in the host club. And he is very, very tight on money in some places. But of course, his friend Tamaki, if he wants something, he's like, okay, let's do this. As long as it makes money, I am fine. He gets very low key, very, very shady sometimes in what he does. Not like gangster shady, but also like, I can't believe you just sold my pencil to make money. I needed that. What in the world? <laughs> and then you just learn his backstory and you're like, oh, okay, this totally makes sense. And you poor baby. <laughs> He's the one that figures out that, <laughs> spoiler warning, Haruhi, the main character, is a chick. What? Yeah, I know, right? He's the first one to figure it out, and he's also the first one to, you know, just figure out, like, Tamaki likes her. And there's a big romance going and all that, so he, he's very smart, and I, lo I love that. It, he's so cool. And then when he finally starts opening up to people, it, it gets even better. So, yes, I love it. Number eight. Holy crap, kittens! A book you had a strong reaction to. So obviously it's not a book, but Princess Jellyfish by Akiko Higashimura. And I love this. It's only about, I want to say 13 episodes, but I just, I watch it all the freaking time. When I'm doing cosplay, when I'm cleaning up my room, I just, I, I love watching this. It's about all these nerds living under the same roof in Tokyo and they're just very sheltered women. It's not like they don't know about, you know, the outside and men and all that, but they don't want to know. They they don't they don't care, you know. It has nothing to do with their passions. And yes, I'm saying passions and not just nerdiness because it's passions to them. But then Kurinosuke comes along and meets our lovely jellyfish girl Sukimi and oh goodness, all hilarity ensues. It's it's great, it's funny, and it shows how nerds and how non-nerds can just be very prejudiced against each other, which that's a deep topic. Like, just imagine yourself back in high school and you're looking at the football players and you're like, they don't like me, so I don't like them, right? This touches on that. It's really cool. I love how deep it gets, even though it, it's still funny and all that. It shows that everyone can not like people and not care for them just because of what they like or what they look like and then it breaks that and says you should like people anyways get to know them and then you'll figure out something really cool about them and I, I love it and this comes from just a 13 episode anime and there's manga out there I haven't been able to read them because they're so expensive and number nine magic always leaves a mark a book that had a big impact on you you know me, like personally, or not, just, I talk about it all the time. And last year was the 25th anniversary of it, meaning it's just as old as me, which is pretty, pretty cool. But Yu Yu Hakusho by Yoshihiro Togashi. And if Yoshihiro Togashi sounds very familiar, he also did Hunter x Hunter, so 
yes and as you can see it's very shiny it's actually a limited edition it's 1013 out of 5000 that's really cool but i have the entire anime series i have the entire manga series i was only about i want to say 13 14 maybe when it first came on Toonami and I w was watching it and I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with the characters, how funny they were. I fell in love with them just everything, everything. My favorite character, of course, Karama. Oh yeah. But Yusuke Yurameshi, the main guy, and Kuwabara, his best friend, and Hiei, and of course Karama, you know, just all they have to go through is just so funny and serious and just it mixes all in and yeah it's an older anime and it you know it's the animation isn't so beautiful and all that even though it's pretty great it's it really is but I, I don't care it's awesome you know people name off their favorite series oh Dragon Ball Z oh Sailor Moon mine Yu Yu Hakusho and there have been some like My Hero Academia who totally want to take the place of Yu Yu Hakusho and they try really really hard but they just can't handle all of this awesome up in here no it's uh, it's awesome see it follows Yusuke Yurameshi and he basically dies first episode first chapter he dies and you're like what our main hero is dead what in the world is this and then he has to go through all these trials to get back and he finally gets back in his body and then all hell ensues and this evil demon is just like well you're gonna have to come to this evil tournament and fight for your life or i'm just gonna kill everything around you and he's like what what <laughs> and then he trains even more and, and it goes on and on and on and you find out a very big secret of yusuke in chapter black which is the third arc and it's oh, yes Yes, there's so many good characters. There's so many awesome voice actors in this. And even if you just read it, it's still super amazing. And Yoshihiro Togashi is such a nerd himself. He puts in little leaks of Dragon Ball Z because he's such a nerd over it. And it's, it's beautiful. I love it. And that is the Keeper book tag. I hope you all enjoyed my little video. And I hope you all go out and just get all these manga, right? But also check out Kim Chance's Keeper. It's out right now on Amazon.com. I'm pretty sure you can get it in paperback and ebook. So, you know, you can do both. You can do one or the other. However you do it, just go out and do it because it's so cool. It's mmm, mmm. <laughs> I just read the synopsis and I'm like, yes, I need to get this. I'm so glad my birthday is very close where I can have the monies to get it. So and on top of checking out Keeper, remember to check out my lovely book, Loading Life, a video game novel. It is also on Amazon.com in ebook and in paperback. And if you want to get it for your nook, you can go to BarnesandNoble.com and get it there as well. And you can read the first three chapters for free on my website. And if you sign up for the emails, you can read the first six chapters for free. So keep that in mind. And until the next video, I will see you all later alligators bye bye so I was just editing the video and I totally forgot to tell you all something I'm having an anime art contest for my new book the parents and guardians guide to anime manga and cosplay so if you want to enter any of your work that has to do with anime or manga or cosplay just go to enchaffin.com slash contests and you can enter as many times as you want with as many works as you want so pretty cool and all that and I have so many more prizes there including the grand prize winner who will have his or her artwork on the front cover of the book so so awesome and so cool so go check that out and I will see you later